Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm going to be walking you through how to sync Obsidian to Google Drive so you never lose your work. If you're new to Obsidian and want to keep your notes safe and synced across all your devices, today's video is for you. So let's get started. First, open the Obsidian app on your phone. Create new vault or use an existing vault. If you create a new vault, give your vault a name like my notes or Obsidian or anything really. I already have an Obsidian folder on my device, so I'll be using the use an existing vault option. Take note that this is where Obsidian will save all your notes to. So to test it out, try moving a document into that folder on your device. You see it appear on the Obsidian app automatically and vice versa. That's how you know your setup is working. Now that Obsidian is set up to save locally, let's sync that folder to Google Drive. Go to the Play Store and download the app AutoSync for Google Drive. Open AutoSync and agree to the license terms and give the app access to your device storage. Next, you click on Connect to Google Drive and sign in with the Google account you want to use. You're going to have to give AutoSync permission to access your Google Drive. On the Choose What to Sync screen, select Skip Do Not Sync Anything Yet. We'll be setting up a custom folder pair instead. Now let's link the Obsidian Vault folder with Google Drive. Go to the Synced Folders tab on AutoSync. Tap on Add Folders. Name your folder pair. Choose the remote folder in Google Drive where you want your notes to go. You can create one if you want to. Next, choose the local folder on your device. This should be the same one you set up in Obsidian earlier, in my case, Obsidian. Ensure the sync method is two-way. If you've done this, you can then hit save and you're done. And that's it. Your Obsidian notes are now safely stored and synced between your phone and Google Drive. Any changes you make in either place will stay in sync. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one and happy note taking.